You should just go to City College. You know, with your work ethic, just go to City College and then to jail and then back to City College and then maybe you'd learn to pull yourself up and not expect everybody to do everything. <laughs> Why do you think this story is so relatable today even though it takes place in 2002? I think at its core, this is about someone who's figuring, actually every character in it is sort of figuring themselves out regardless of their age. And they're all adapting to change and um, the feeling of something new coming in to replace something else. And that's just a really um, normal experience to go through. And I think everyone relates to that. To me, it was a way to talk about the moment we're living through now without setting it now. And sometimes I think it's easier to talk about a moment uh, when you're a little bit removed from it, or if you can find a way to create metaphor out of it. Lady Bird, is that your given name? Yeah. Why is it in quotes? I gave it to myself. It's given to me by me. Lady Bird always says that she lives on the wrong side of the tracks, but I always thought that that was like a metaphor. But there are actual train tracks. What? Is the meaning behind the word or the name Lady Bird? We don't know. That's the great thing about it. It's, I mean, it's an alter ego, and it's yeah. like anyone who's chosen another name, like Madonna or Beyonce or someone like that, Cher, um, that it, it gives you this inner strength to bring out that other side to you. How much of yourself do you see in the character of Lady Bird? <laughs> well, this is because we're physically the same person, but she's very gangly and quite physically awkward in the same way I am, weirdly enough. Well, I was the I was the opposite of Lady Bird, actually. And when I wrote the character of Lady Bird, it started when I wrote at the top of the page, and I didn't don't know what came out of me. Um, I didn't plan it. I just wrote, why won't you call me Lady Bird? You promised that you would. And I looked at the sentence, I stared at it, and I thought, I don't know. I don't know where this came from. I don't know what Ladybird means. I never made anyone call me by a different name. Who is this girl? So then I kind of started investigating who she was and I found this girl who is um, brave and flawed and funny and ambitious and just, you know, kind of flinging herself at life. When is a normal time to have sex? You're having sex? I'm ready. I wanted it to be special. Why? You're gonna have so much unspecial sex in your life. You've made a very current film with mm. strong female characters and actors like Timothy Chalamet, mm. who seems to be the next big star. Definitely. What's your impression on film today and the films we'll be seeing in the newest future? Well, I think, you know, cinema's going through a, a period of adjustment. Um, I think we, I think we're really making an effort to have a lot, uh, a lot more diversity of storytellers, which is tremendously important, and I think um, will lead to better movies. What I'm excited about is uh, how many people are still committed to the, the form of cinema, of a film, of telling a story in a discrete amount of time in one sitting that's meant to be seen in a theatrical experience. That's um, that's my that's what I love. So. I, I'm excited that uh, there seems to be a real passion for that still. So, you're not interested in any Catholic colleges? No way. I want schools like Yale, but not Yale because I probably couldn't get in. <laughs> you definitely couldn't get in. I think sometimes movies make, especially teenagers, feel like there there's some experience that other people are having that they're not, and it, movies make them seem like, Everybody is better looking than me and living more exciting lives. And um, I hope my movie makes <laughs> them feel like they're good looking enough and their lives are just about as exciting as everybody else's. I want you to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. What if this is the best version? What I'd really like is to be on Math Olympiad. But math isn't something you're terribly strong in. That we know of yet. Yeah.